this is the Samsung Galaxy S6. Not the Galaxy S24, not the S23, not even the S20. This is the Galaxy S6. I vividly remember this phone because it was the first proper phone that I'd had. I had an S4 prior, but then I had this, and I was like, whoa, this is a huge upgrade. Glass on the front and back, metal on the side, a fingerprint sensor, a recent apps list, and a bunch of other really cool stuff that had me pretty shocked when I, my parents eventually got a new phone and I was bequeathed this device. So is it still a stable phone in 2024? Surprisingly, yes, and if you really wanted to, you could use it as a daily driver. So let's begin. So I had to update some programs in order to make this phone somewhat usable, but other than that, it works. Okay, so for example, if we were to open up Snapchat, it works just fine. As you can see, it is working. There's all my chats, if, well, they're gonna load in. So the last version that this ever got of Android was Android Nougat, which is like... If I'm not mistaken, was the final, was like the first version that released with the Galaxy S8. It's pretty old, but surprisingly, a lot of apps still support it. YouTube is a bit of a different story, but it's still I said, as I was saying, YouTube Shorts and the YouTube homepage works just fine. You can still scroll, you can still watch videos, they, they'll work, as you observed in that beautiful intro. As you can see, it's working just fine. Now, something that a lot of people might not want to do when they switch is the physical home button. As you can see, no one's managed to get cracked. This was a truly revolutionary phone back in 2015. Not only because it was a new phone, but because this put Samsung on the forefront of the smartphone lineup. They had glass on the front and the back, which I don't even know, did Apple ever do that? Until, like, the iPhone 10 or something. So this was pretty exciting for 2015 standards. Because you guys had to remember. Because you guys got to remember, the S6 was released in 2015. It was always one number behind from the actual year before they switched over to the S20 number standards. So we actually get 1440p resolution and 4K recording on the front camera, which is pretty exciting. I mean, it doesn't look like 4K, but if if that's 4K, then it's 4K. So let's take a photo. When, so when this phone was given to me back in 2017, back when the Galaxy S8 was fresh, this was pretty exciting because I was using the S4 for the longest time. So 1440p recording, fingerprint sensor was pretty cool. But even then, this phone looks stunning in 2020. I really do like the size of the device because I don't like really I don't really like huge phones, so this this size was actually great. Um, calling I don't I haven't put my SIM card in the phone yet, but I would like to see if we can make phone calls or use the mobile data and mobile hotspot feature that come with this phone, which would be <laughs> pretty exciting. I switched to iPod didn't work. What about I switched to Galaxy S6? This this could work. So all in all, what do I think of the Galaxy S6 in 2024? It's a pretty good phone. By today's standards, this is a pretty good phone. Do I recommend going out and going out of your way to buy it in 2024? No. I mean, we literally made an entire other video talking about this phone. This is the A15 5G. It came out this year. And this is the Galaxy S6. That is a humongous size difference. If you have one of these lying around and your current phone cracked, then it isn't the end of the world if you have to use this as your daily driver. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, I'll put them up right over here. And as always, comment, like, and subscribe. See you guys next time.